Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underwear. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 18 wins, six losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael Maverick Kiesa! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Let's go. First round underway. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, how about that, DC? Turning defense into offense. He locks the strike, counters with the jab. He's got a good reach advantage in this matchup, and it certainly looked pretty pronounced in that exchange. Land. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. And there comes the separation now. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Oh, wow, that happened quickly. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown. Yes, his strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Yes, it going for the takedown here. Nothing doing this. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing 
to be chest to chest. Oh, too easy. Again, he goes for the takedown and once again plants his opponent firmly on his back. It's like watching a movie on repeat <laughs> over and over. He secures his takedown. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Beautiful counterpunch. Really settling in when it comes to this counterattack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, massive knee to the head. Whoa! Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kevin the Trailblazer! So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.